Hello, 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 everyone, and Merry Christmas Eve before the Christmas Eve. <coughs> oh, well, I can't believe how long it took for my previous two videos to load. I'm telling you, I don't know what the problem was. I don't know where the issue uh, lies. I don't know nothing, but it took four ever forever i did my german video before i left here yesterday and i left it to upload by the time i came home it was like i don't know 35 percent. i don't know what the problem was so um when we got home here yesterday at 4 30 i uh made my English video, but I couldn't upload it until that video, the German video, had finished uploading. And then the English video took all morning till right now, which is 11 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just, I got it tickled down here in my lungs, my bronchial tubes. So anyway, as you saw there, I had I had worked a bit here on uh, Balcony Kiss. And I did a little bit more here this morning. But I was really tired because I'd been up since 3. So I had a nap there on the sofa. So yeah, so I worked a little bit here. And it's very slow going. Okay. Very slow going. So, it takes a while. Now, I would like to try and get a different count to see what, if there's much of a difference. So, I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to try the 14 count in that. This is nice. It's great, but I need a frame for it to be able to do it so that I can see the holes and it it won't be really the um sewing method it's just going to be the jabbing method so that's how far I got which isn't a lot but I was tired last night and then this morning and then um Sydney's playing at my feet so I'm going to show you first of all I'm going to show you here I got this this one picture, um, and this goes to Juliet. So she's gonna get this. She she was interested in a swan, a picture with a swan and two signets, but she couldn't find one she really liked. So I came across this one, and this one's a DIY. It's an eleven count. So we'll quickly take a look at this one. So our trip yesterday was really, oh my gosh, really, really busy. And stopped quite a few places. We had lunch at a really nice Chinese food restaurant there in Stonewall. And here there are 24 colors. So as you can see here, there's all these colors right here nice browns and the blues for the water and i guess for a little bit for the sky so it's very pretty i thought well i'm ordering and i wanted to get the free shipping and i did everything and i paid for it i didn't get free shipping even though i was yeah Still had to pay six ninety nine. Well, this pattern is much to be desired. I guess you can see it until you get up in here. So, yes, Sydney, do you mind? I got Sydney a collar yesterday with a bell on it. So, it's not very, you know. But look at, look at the border on this. <laughs> like, 
Oh my gosh. It says it's a 40 by 50, but I would say this is more like a 20 by 30. 25 by 35. Because these borders are huge. And yeah. So she's already seen this, but she hasn't seen this when it was all open. So yeah, I'm I'm disappointed in this because these margins are so huge. So so huge. It's 129 by 173. Okay. So it's actually smaller than this one, which is 212 by 354. Okay. So as you can see here, like this is this is bigger. I tried putting some washi tape around the bottom, but it didn't go. <clears throat> I have to try and find some masking tape here. So lots of bands of color. Um, edges are not surged, and I don't like that, and I wish they would. So there is a half a point off for the edges not surged. There is a half a point off for the terrible um, the small picture. There are two needles, of course, 11 count. And that, the fabric is quite stiff. So it would take a little while to get it to soften up. But it's a nice picture. But I'm disappointed that the size is so off. So, because they measure from side to side like that. So they make the picture like it's bigger than it really is. So that... Yep. So, okay. So, a half a point off because it's not surged. A half a point off because of the margins. And a half a point off because of the uh, the chart. So, this is a three and a half by five. But it's still good. But, yep. So, that's that one so yeah I'm 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 disappointed in that aspect okay let's go on here to another one of these 18 counts so there is this one and as you can see there's people here there's I don't, there's a girl here, and I don't know if this is a, a child here, something like that, but I think this is, it's almost here like there's three here, but they're playing music, it almost looks like that, I don't know if that's what it was, but. It's very pretty. I just, I love the fantasy aspect and the attention to detail. So, let's take a look at this one. I was making my puff pastry this morning. So, I already did a bunch and... So I have another batch in there. They're just baking. Oh my gosh. This is quite tight. Oh my gosh. Look at the hands on this one. Okay. Come on. There. There are, I don't know how many hanks. There's quite a lot in here. Quite a lot. The one thing I wish is that they would put the color of what these are. So, yeah. Okay, so there's the picture. 
I don't know what we'll call this one. Um, pink tower, because it looks like a tower. Pink tower. Okay, let's call it that. Pink tower. And here is the pattern. So it is, wow, it's quite, this one's quite long. This one is, oops, sorry, sorry. This one is 283 by 496. Yeah, so we will call this one Pink Tower. So I am just, oops. And it's, you can see it. So I'm going to write this on here. Pink Tower. Because I don't want to, because all they do is give it a number here. So that's the name I'm calling it. You can call it whatever you want. Okay. And there are 30 colors. Again, they seem to be doing these all in 30 colors. And even on here, you can see. Like, there's a lot of this light lavender and lots and lots of colors. Like, I mean, look at those. And, of course, there's just some that are just a few. And I'm doing these in um, one thread. Okay, so this is more than enough to do it because they're doing it based on two threads, I do believe. So let's take a look at this one. This is quite long. So I'm going to, wait a minute, I'm going to write on here. Pink tower. Just so that I know. And lots of reds and everything else here. So there's some here. And the pattern, this pattern here goes with this. Okay. Now this is a little bit yellowed here. And I don't know why that happened that way. But... They're all the same, okay? So you can, if for some reason this is off, you can follow this. But like I said, I am, I'm going to, um, I'm going to see about getting a few of these here in the larger size, you know, um, uh, smaller, no, larger count. Yeah, so you can see here there's lots of bands of color. So if you do, say, all these yellow, and you work on all that yellow, then you can come back, and I like to work on solid colors first because they're the easiest to see. But the printing is very good on this. However... I would say that there's too much of the similar color here, like this rose uh, or this pink, and then you've got these pink squares. I know they can't do, like, numbers or something because you'd never see them. These numbers here, you can see a little bit better than the other one it says this is a 40 by 70 so I would take this more as a 30 by 60 
So this is a real nice size. Yes. But I think for me, I would get myself, I would get a standing frame here so that I can stitch with it. So that, because as you have it up like that, oh, just a minute, like that, Sydney, like, I can see the holes better when I hold it up or like that, right? So that's what I would do for me. And if you've got a frame already, that's what I would suggest. Now, a point off for not being surged. Um, I would say that the definition of the symbols is good. There are some like in here that are lost in here. So, yeah. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. They could have used more solid colors. But they didn't. But all in all, I would say... I, I would give this a four and a half out of five. Just because the edges are not surged. And I don't like it when the edges are not surged. And I know many of you are the same. Because the more, see like here, it's starting to fray. And I don't, I have an old, old Singer sewing machine that my mother had. It's electric, it's not a treadle. <laughs> don't go back that far. But it, it has trouble. You know, all, like all I can do is backward and forward, right? It's got none of the fancy stitches. So I can't do any zigzag or anything. But they say what you can do is just go and do a double row of stitching, right? So you go around and around and around and around and around. And that. So, yeah. But all in all, yes, I like this. So, I think by far, this is, this so far is the one that I like the best. So far. But like I said, I want to uh, get one or two in a different count. So that I can see how, uh, how well they go together. Gosh, I hope that wasn't out of frame. Um, so, yeah. Now, I watched Laura's video, and she was, I was in bed, and I was, see, look at how this is spraying. Like, that's just, that is, that's the thing I don't care for. And you know what? If they don't want to do the surging, then put kind of like a glue on around it and have that. But I tried, I tried doing the sewing method on this and I found it very difficult. And so, I will. Sydney, get down. Get down. I'm finding when I say that now, he listens. 
but I'm screaming it at him. And of course, couldn't care less. So, um, this is very hard to see. I do not have a magnifying lamp anymore, and I may have to, in the new year, invest in one if I'm going to work on these. Because it's, this is very hard to see. So, I like the idea that these are smaller. And I, sh I believe it should be an option for people if they want to go for an 18 count. And I bet you it looks beautiful when finished. But for me, I think I would stick to a 14. So, if, if one of you would like to try an 18 count, and you see the ones here that I've got, Sydney, and you would like to trade my 18, and if you can get me a 14, then I will do that. Not an 11 count, but a 14. Then I would gladly trade you. I'd be more than happy to trade you. Because I think this is... But I do like this idea, though. And I love these designs. I just love these designs. Absolutely. I think these are just... I would love to do all of them. There's a few that are not quite my... Sydney. Not quite up my alley, so to speak. But I like these designs. I really, I like the fantasy. I like the, um, you know, the, the attention to detail. Leave it alone, you little turd. Get down. Get down. Get down. But yeah, if you would like to, to trade um, this one, and I know I've worked a little bit on it, but it's not by much, so you're more than happy um, that you will... Okay, this is Balcony Kiss. And the other one, oh my gosh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. So this is Balcony Kiss. Get down. And this is Pink Tower. And I still have another one. But I wanted to give as much time as I could here to show you what these are like. But I will gladly exchange with you and I will uh, um, and it doesn't matter where you are I will exchange it mind you the further away from Canada the more expensive it gets of course right so going to the US or Europe or wherever um, and Canada is just, our postal rates are exorbitant. 
Mind you, going to the States is a little bit um, cheaper, I think, than in Canada. And I don't understand why. But yes, if you would like to trade either one of these, um, the other one that I'll show you tomorrow, I am still getting one in the mail, which is another, you know, uh, one of these. I would just, I would love to trade you for a 14 count. Okay, because I would love to work on these. Yeah, I especially, I love this one. Love the pinks and everything. And I can't figure it out. It's like there's people here. And it's, to me, that's a tower, right? Because it keeps going up. It's a real fantasy. But I like this. It's like a, like a hotel and... You know, it's got all these little aspects to it. And I just find it, it's almost like a um, fairy, you know, a fairy place a f it, deep in the woods. Because if you notice here, like here, like the roses are big, right? So, yeah, I don't. No, if it's no, they're not. These must. I don't know where that, but they must come from um, an Asian designer, because that's the way that it looks like. So they look very Asian to me, and there is a design. Th this is kind of, sort of similar to get down to. But not quite the same, right? Like soda stitch. Sydney, get down. Get down. Sorry. So yeah. I think I think these are just beautiful. They're just beautiful. So let me know if you would like to trade. And I would be willing to trade you for these ones, you know. And then I will just stop here. I won't do any further. And, but I think using one thread is, it's, it's quite, I think that's, that gives you that perfect, you know. And seeing through into the back is just the same as a 14 count, right? Because you will still see through to the back on a 14. Even on an 11, you will see it. So, yep. So, okay, just let me know. And I'm going to package these all up. Stay tuned for tomorrow because I have another one to show you. And, uh... Yeah, it makes it exciting, you know. So, again, have a very merry, happy Chris. no, happy Eve before Christmas Eve. <laughs> oh, yesterday I got some beautiful yarn because I want to make some socks. I also had, let me see here, Are they even here, did I even bring them, did I... No. No, I must have left them in the kitchen. Um, I found some really cute buttons. And uh, one is of a nativity scene. And, like, they're, they're, just, they're just little things. But I thought, you know what? I can use them for something. And what you do is you snap the back off of them. You know, the, the thing there. The little button part where you sew on and uh the other one is a uh, little red truck with three christmas trees i think that's all that's in that one but unusual buttons very unusual buttons 
and I just, I like looking for things like that that I can possibly add to, um, there he is, that little fart. You see he's got his collar on? And he was, he heard the bell, but he couldn't figure out where it was. See, he's trying to, <laughs> a little weasel. But I thought that way there I can hear him a little bit better, you know. But yesterday I had put all the cat food and the dog food up. And I have a pail for the cat food. Lily Bell. She got in there. Well, she, she got into the room. And she kept pushing and pushing and pushing on this pail. And, uh, and she was able to get it somehow. And she knocked it over. And she gorged herself on cat food. Not good. She's bad for food. She's bad for food. So, anyway, okay, I guess that's it. I will talk to you. I'll see you here tomorrow. Hopefully this loads faster. I'm so sorry that it doesn't, but I can't do anything about it. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. Um, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. And to all of you, I offer that as well. Oh, I was going to say here. Oh my gosh, where did it go? Uh, Gigi sent me a really nice Christmas card. And Gigi, I want to thank you for that lovely Christmas card. I don't know where it is. Oh my gosh. Because Sydney got up here and everything is just all over the place. I'm going to clean up and that. So I have to go over and check my puff pastry. And I have to make the, um, um, the cream cheese filling. I'm going to do some in with cream cheese, uh, Cool Whip, coconut, uh, crushed pineapple, and mandarin oranges. And the other one, because Juliet doesn't like coconut or pineapple, it will be just cream cheese, Cool Whip, and mandarin oranges. And I just I crush up the mandarin orange. So, you know, I just get the tins. So, yep. So that's what I will do. And actually, this turned out a lot better than I thought. So, that's good. I don't know if I did it exactly right. But, because I only did it as one. You know, like you open it up and then you cut it. And I put it on the tray, so they're very thin. They're very thin, but you stuff the filling in there. and Yes, yes, yes. Lickabissin. As we used to always say, lickabissin. All right, everyone. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all. And if I don't see you until after Christmas, I will be posting... Um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve Day, and New Year's Day. I don't, you know, because we all need somebody, right? So if you're alone, come join me because I'm alone. So, all right, everyone, have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow. Doodle-oodles, everybody.